All right, y'all, so yesterday I made a salsa. I really enjoyed it, but this time I wanna make one that's different, one that I've never done before. And um, so I got some ingredients and uh, let's get to it. All right, so I got some chipotle peppers, cilantro, a red bell pepper, some Roma tomatoes, some sereno peppers, some red jalapenos, an onion, some garlic. I just need one. Uh, I'm gonna use some orange juice, of course, some vinegar, of course, salt and pepper, and a little bit of lime, all right? So I'm gonna season this stuff up, put it in the oven, and then um, go from there. Okay, so I put some oil on these things, and then I put salt. Again, like I said last time, the onions I cut fresh because I just like that and do what makes you happy, do what works for you. And then um, the other stuff I'll put at the end, even the chipotle peppers I'll put when I'm blending everything together. This is the stuff that I want charred. On another note, that green salsa we made the other day, I'm gonna put it with this. Uh, my wife's making carne guisada. So we're gonna get some uh, flour tortillas. We're gonna put this in like a taco and then put that green salsa over it. And I know it's gonna be good. All right, y'all, so I'm going ahead and doing the uh, flipping part. All right, just flip these around a little bit. Honestly, I think I might call it I'm gonna do this side just for a little bit and that's it. I don't want them to get too, uh, like wilted or whatever. Once I do that, I'm gonna put them back in the oven maybe about five minutes and then uh, I'm gonna take them out. Okay, so I took them out the oven. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this uh, red bell pepper, slice it. And then on this, I'm taking out the seeds. I don't want the seeds in here. Uh, it's just something that, uh, it's not gonna go well. All right, so that. I like that char, so I'm gonna keep that char on that. I work for that. So, all right. Um, be mindful, everything's freaking hot. All right, so cut the peppers. I'm gonna leave the seeds in there. I don't take the seeds out. Um, if you wanna take the seeds out, it's up to you. Uh, after I put everything in here, I'm gonna let it cool down for a second, and then um, then I'll blend it all together. I don't want to blend it when it's freaking piping hot. So I got that. Cut these a little smaller. Um, the tomatoes, it's up to you. How many you want to put in? These are kind of big, so I might end up doing about. I was gonna put the whole. I think that's good like that. Um, so every uh, jalapeno, whatever, I'm just cutting the stems off. Okay. And then I'm gonna wash my hands real good after this because uh, it'll burn you if you don't. If you wipe your eyes or whatever. <laughs> you don't wanna do that. <laughs> I wonder how much spicier the red jalapenos are than the green. I don't know, everything to me that's red is always spicy. Let me see. All right, so we got that, that, that. And then um, with the garlic, it's kind of like, it's up to you, eyeball it, how much you want in there. Um, but with the garlic, it should be. Uh-oh, you feel it on your fingers? It's hot. Oh no. Yeah, so the garlic is gonna be piping hot. Um, I'm gonna put about, uh, I'm gonna put a lot. Um, we're gonna put these uh, chipotle peppers. Um, let's see, everything I'm kind of just eyeballing. So at least one, two, three, four. I just wanna put all them. Five, six. Are you sure? Yeah, because, yeah, because I, I don't want it to be not spicy. All right, with salt, I'm gonna, about that much. Pepper is gonna be the same thing. Like a quarter size amount? That's like almost half a teaspoon maybe, mm -hmm. right? Okay, 
Um, don't forget your cilantro. And I'm gonna push this all this stuff in, kind of smash it in, um, so it gets it's not over crowding it or whatever. And then two limes. Should I just get one lime, half the lime? Cause yeah, I'm not gonna get the second one. Um, I would put another one just because it's a lot of you got a lot of chilies, different chiles in there. Yeah, and that's true, but but. Oh, that's right. I'm gonna use these too. So, um, that much, not too much, and then about vinegar. Yeah, that much vinegar. We're gonna blend it together. We're gonna taste it. If we feel like it needs more vinegar, more orange juice, more salt, more pepper, then we'll take it from there. All right. y'all that's the finished product it's looking beautiful if i might say oh, no. all right now let's try it out all right so i got a whiff um i can tell it's hot but let's see how hot so i'll get about that much i can smell the chipotle That's hotter. Now that's hot. Not unbearable hot, but it's definitely what I was looking for. Okay. Ooh. And that'd be good if I smoked that stuff in mesquite. It would even be better. I think that's good. So one thing, I probably put a little less Chipotle. Cause chipotle peppers can be strong as far as like the flavor. And I think um, maybe a good three of them would have been good or maybe two instead of like five or I think I put the whole thing. But the colors off the chain on this, the flavor's there and the heat's there for sure. So that was episode two. Now let's get the grubbing. You know what? I thought why not use both salsas? Get the both of best worlds. So thank y'all for um, watching this video. Please like and subscribe if y'all enjoyed it. Until next time.